Ariodante Dante lives a life of perfect predictability. Convinced that he is living the life of a character in a story from an epic written 500 years ago. Living in modern-day Scotland, each night he scours translations and versions of that one story, looking for any variation, any twist to the plan of his scripted life. A life of extraordinary predictability. His entire life pre-planned in these pages. Maybe he's right. Even the actions of his friends, their loves and betrayals, follow like clockwork the telling of that tale. until things start to change. Hi, I'm Mari Moriarty, and I'm the director of Being Ario Dante. To me, this opera is about paranoia, lust, and our addiction to find meaning in a world that proves itself more and more to be ultimately meaningless. The opera pays homage to the, to the romance of Handel's 18th century opera, while forcing audiences to reckon with the randomness and brutality of living in today's world. There is a diversity of experiences represented on stage. Uh, it explores the intersections of sexuality and ability in a way that I have never seen in art before, let alone opera. Um, my favorite part about it is that it isn't afraid to be dirty and fun and sexy and dangerous and beautiful all at the same time. Uh, I'm thrilled to collaborate on this production, and I think this will be something that audiences have never seen before. The scene that I am most excited about comes near the end of Act 1. All of the characters have come to this sort of nightclub, rave scene, and it occurred to me, as a choreographer, that this is the perfect opportunity to allude to the question that maybe this isn't a definitive present day time period. And so I'm interested in exploring how I can do that by keeping some of the traditional patterns and movement motifs of court dances while still mixing in more of the 
present day style and rhythms that you would see in nightclubs now. So we've got present day and Baroque period all sort of mixed up into one dance scene. Nearing the opera's shocking conclusion, we find ourselves at Glasgow Cathedral, the High Kirk. Adjacent to the ancient structures is the necropolis, that highest point of the city, a gray labyrinth of monuments and crypts. Here, Ariodante, in a state of tragic melancholy, addresses the tombstones. His friends see him from afar. Little do they know he is confessing to the dead, the place of his suicidal ending. With Adopra, you're getting not just one or two unexpected things, but often the entire production is a surprise. And that goes from the acting to the casting to, and maybe and especially, the music. Uh, in this case, there are a number of new elements that I was surprised to see having already worked on a number of Da works, including some operas. And it ranges from the charming to the haunting to even the sexy. So stay tuned for a few surprises. Being Ariodante, a new opera by Jonathan Dahl, this spring at the Italian Academy, New York City.